We have here a flask of boiling water. Nothing special about it, just average clean water boiling at 100 degrees centigrade. We have it boiling, full boiling, just to push the air out and just fill the rest of the flask with vapor. What I'm going to do right now is going to, I'm going to ret retrieve it from the heat and put a cork on it. Of course it will stop boiling simply because we're not exposing it to heat. And I'm going to turn it around and as you see nothing boiled. We're going to put some cold water. This is just ordinary cold water on top of it. And of course that should cool things down even more. But if you look carefully, it boils again. And if we put more cold water on it, it keeps boiling. How can that be? The more cold water we put, the more it will boil. There's many explanations for this, but um, from a thermodynamic point of view, what's actually happening is that we're, we have a system which is at a certain quality. At, uh, and by cooling it down, if you think of the phase diagram, we go to a, st a state which has an even higher quality. And the only way to achieve that quality is to evaporate liquid. In layman's terms, if we put cold water on a closed system, it will tend to compress, it will tend to diminish its volume. And you can think of, well, how do I fill in the volume that's missing? And the way to do that is simply by filling it with vapor. So how do you fill it with vapor? Well, let's evaporate a little bit of liquid, which is dense, and fill it up with a little bit, fill, fill the space with vapor, which occupies more volume.